Hello, welcome to Helena Coffee. You already know how to increase or decrease the acidity of coffee. Which flavor of coffee do you like? Check out this video and learn how to make them. To create the coffee you want, you must first figure out what you need one. Is the grain texture harsh or soft on the surface? Coffee is typically cultivated at a higher altitude, where the temperature is cooler, the growing time is longer, the plant accumulates more nutrients, and the grain is harder. The tougher the nut, the higher the acidity and fruity scent. 2. The seeds are pre-processed in one of three ways, wet, dry, or honey processing, semi-wet, semi-dry. The way the coffee beans are extracted from the shell is referred to as processing procedures, and it has a significant impact on the flavor of the beans. If done correctly, dry processing and honey will improve the nut's sweetness and body, mouthfeel, wet processing, on the other hand, will yield a clean cup, uniformity, crisp acidity, and nuanced flavor, bright and complex. 3. What is the bean's roast level? Dark roast, medium roast, or light roast? The bitterness of coffee beans increases as they are roasted darker, and most of this is due to the roasting method rather than the bean's character, caramelization, carbonization in the final stage of the roasting process. When lightly roasted coffee is paired with the proper processing, the natural sour and sweet flavors of coffee are revealed. Returning to the previous principle, the darker the roast, the softer the texture. The most important component of a cup of coffee is water. A cup of coffee can include up to 94-98% to water, which means that the sort of water you use to brew it has an impact on the flavor. Brew water quality is a huge problem that deserves its own post. We merely look at the most fundamental factors here, is it hard water or soft water? Dissolved minerals, particularly magnesium and calcium, are abundant in hard water. In comparison, soft water has a low solubility. According to Thomas Chandler, a coffee roaster, molecular biologist, and chemist, carbonate is the principal acid buffer in water, and the more carbonated the water is, the less acid is extracted. However, this is not the only acid buffer. Also, the carbonate buffer's action is dependent on the presence or absence of other compounds in the water. Soft water, on the other hand, is typically heavy in sodium, allowing the acidity to be more noticeable, according to Steve. However, this does not always imply that soft water is preferable. Christopher Hendon discovered that hard water with high levels of magnesium and calcium extracts more flavors, including acidity. These items appear to be contradictory, yet their goal is to aid us in improving our mixing abilities. If your coffee loses its remarkable acidity, or if the cup of coffee gets boring, flat, I'm not sure how to express it exactly, or if it turns sour, unpleasant, you'll know. If the seeds or the method of preparation aren't the problems, consider altering the water you're using. Change the filter or try bottled water to see what the difference is. To reduce acidity, alter the recipe water is perhaps the most important element in a cup of coffee, but the flavor is created by the mix of coffee and water, which is influenced by how the water and coffee come into touch with each other. When you add water to coffee, the flavor, flavor, and scent, aroma, of the bean powder penetrate into the water. How much flavor is extracted is determined by the amount of CF, the amount of water, the brewing duration, the grind size, the water temperature, and the flow rate. Because different components are removed at different periods, it doesn't just make one cup of CF black or light. Fruity acids will be extracted first, followed by sweetness and balance, and ultimately bitterness. That indicates that under-extracted CF has a sour flavor, whereas over-extracted CF has a bitter flavor. Size of grind and extraction due to the reduced surface area in contact with the water, coarsely ground coffee will slow down the extraction rate. Note that the rate and rate of extraction of coffee flavors are different from the brewing time, which is the time the coffee grounds take. Contact with water. This indicates that the coarser the grain, the higher the ability to remove acidity. Nevertheless, too coarse a grain will have a terrible flavor, under. Time to extract, ability to extract, and acidity extraction time is another important issue to consider when it comes to coffee extraction. The more time that passes, the more solute that is removed. 
If the extraction time is not proper, you can use your favorite beans, high quality brew, an ideal grind size and yet end up with a cup of coffee that is overly acidic or flat, dull. So, if you use a coarse grind but a long brewing time, the cup will still have a lot of acids, and if you use a fine grind but a short extraction time, the cup will still have a sour taste. As a result, adjust the extraction duration to acquire more or less acid. Use the warmth of the water to draw attention to the acidity. The faster the extraction rate, the hotter the water. Nevertheless, some compounds can only be removed at specific temperatures, which is why cold brew is known for its sweet, mellow taste and weak acidity. However, keep in mind that these variables interact with grind size, duration, and other variables.